So I'd like to thank Vijay Patil sir for inviting me on this forum, um, um, and it was, it's a great pleasure to interact with so many of my colleagues and alumni from TMH. And um, I will basically be presenting the same uh, data which Dr. Sandeep sir has excellently presented about entrectinib uh, in ROS fusion positive non-small cell lung cancers and uh, NTRK fusion positive solid tumors. It's basically the same data, but basically it's an analysis of the Chinese population in these trials. And uh, few things crossed my mind when I was just going through this study and I was uh, correlating this data with the data that we see coming out from um, other uh, TKIs as well. And uh, one thing we one thing we have, that we have realized is that, you know, now we have this tumor agnostic therapy, uh, which is being, uh, uh, you know, so um, I would say uh, overhyped uh, in my opinion, because many of these tumor agnostic therapies, they were... Um, approved based on response rates from single arm studies, uh, very small patient uh, data sets, but yet they have become the uh, uh, standard of care now with FDA approvals. They have come into the NCCN guidelines. But if you see the survival data, are patients living longer because of these tumor agnostic therapies? That is something which we still don't know for sure. For example, tumor mutation burden was, uh, an, uh, uh, was a tumor agnostic therapy. But uh, the uh, colon data, the recent ASCO guidelines, they, in fact, they, they, they tell us not to prescribe uh, pembrolizumab in colon cancers with a high TMB, just, just based on TMB as an indication for treatment. And uh, for as far as lung cancers are concerned, there was a prospective trial which used blood-based tumor mutation burden to stratify patients uh, to, to receive immunotherapy versus no. And this also failed to show any improvement in survival. In that regard, NTRK also, I think, recently has been approved as one of the uh, tumor agnostic therapies because as from Dr. Sandeep's data, we have seen that NTRK fusion occurs across a spectrum of tumors, not just lung cancers, colon cancers, salivary gland, breast, and other types of rare cancers. It's a rare, th it's a rare uh, mutation. So if you do pick it up, yes, we have a target which can be targeted now. But all these studies are very small, phase one, phase two trials. The endpoint is overall response rate. So we have to keep that in our mind when prescribing these drugs that the endpoints are just response rates and not uh, overall survival. So that being said, uh, let us start the uh, uh, start looking at the data that was presented in the Chinese subset of uh, this uh, Star Trek uh, trials. All this data has already been explained by Dr. Sandeep that uh, ROS fusions are rare, NTRK fusions are even rarer, and entrectinib is a potent inhibitor of the ROS and the TRK fusion proteins. And um, this data set, as I have already said, was uh, analyzed in the Chinese subset of, uh, in the Chinese patients of these trials. And they all received entrectinib, uh, that, that is the dose, and uh, the endpoint, as I said, was an overall response rate and duration of response. And this is the basic uh, patient pool that in the ROS fusion positive lung cancers, there were around 38 patients. These were patients who were uh, previously treated. Most of them had received one or two lines of therapy. And uh, the solid tumors, the NTRK fusion positive solid tumors, half of them were again lung cancers. And the rest were distributed amongst colon and other rare uh, cancers. A few patients had brain metastasis in both the groups. And, um, and most of the patients were in a reasonable ECOG performance status. So yes, the response rates are um, uh, impressive, not as high as what we saw with selpercatinib. Probably similar response rates have been seen with MET inhibitors as well. More than 60% response rates were seen in uh, both groups of patients, slightly better in the uh, solid tumor uh, group, but again, very small patient numbers. What is interesting is that these responses were durable. So yes, if you do get a response, you can be optimistic that yes, this will be sustained for at least a year or so. Um, and uh, But again, very low CRs, majority of them were partial responders, but primary progression was uh, fortunately un uh, very uncommon, uh, only in single digits. This was the median progression for survival. Like I said, it was exceeding a year in the ROS fusion positive group in lung cancers. and very small uh, uh, patient numbers, so we, we really cannot take this, uh, we have to take this with a pinch of salt, but uh, a decent uh, PFS was seen in the NTRK fusion positive solid tumor group. 
the good thing about uh, entrectinib like uh, uh, the other ntrk inhibitors in its class is that it penetrates the blood brain barrier and you do see intracranial responses as well in fact in the five patients of the solid tumor group who had brain metastasis all five patients had a complete response which is we don't know whether it's because of chance or because the drug is really that effective but uh, in the ross fusion positive lung cancer group yes they were documented intracranial responses as well the drug is well tolerated uh, we know that there are some class specific side effects common to some alk inhibitors and ntr inhibitors like weight gain we see that with lorlatinib one in four patients have a severe weight gain and that the same thing has been seen with here also and uh, rise in blood creatinine has been seen but this usually does not necessitate uh, drug withdrawal or discontinuation as you can see majority of the patients were able to continue their drug successfully without interrupting or discontinuing it so to conclude entrectinib yes it is a good drug it induces good responses and the majority of these responses are sustained for more than a year in these patients it does have intracranial activity as well so that is at least reassuring that patients with brain metastasis can be given this drug but of course uh, with all the caveats of it being a small study of course it's a rare mutation but then we need uh, we should al always look out for overall survival data as well i am sure all of you must be uh, must have seen the uh, keras uh, story with uh, sotorasib showing excellent response rates in the code break 100 but uh, very underwhelming uh, overall survival data in the code break 200 uh, update thank you